Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Anthony Thomas, and I want to talk about today, are you a victor or a victim? Okay, we're going to touch on mindset. Now, the most important thing regarding anything that you do is going to be your mindset. All right, how you view the world shapes how you react to the world and how you how you act in the world is going to affect how the world views you. Okay, so it's very important. Now, a let's talk about the victim mindset, okay, because what it, you'll probably have spoken to people that have this type of mindset. And if you're like me, because we're all, we're not perfect, there has been times where you have had the victim mindset. I know I have, okay? Now, a person with a victim mindset will often have excuses and complaints, okay? Typically, they're going to have a fear of making mistakes, uh, making big commitments, okay? And they're going to lack self-confidence and belief. So because of that lack of confidence and that lack of uh, belief, they don't make big commitments. They don't make really any commitments, Okay. So it's very important when you find yourself in that type of, um, you know, those type of behaviors and having those type of thoughts, you need to catch yourself because now you are in a victim's mindset. Now, conversely, a person with a victor's mindset, they're going to constantly be setting goals and they're internally motivated. OK, they're always trying to stretch themselves. They're always trying to be better and, and challenge themselves. They have a strong positive values and principles that will help serve them. OK, they're always making decisions based off their principles and they're always increasing their standards. And when it, there, there are times of taking action on things that cause fear, they overcome, they take action in spite of how they feel, in spite of the fear. They don't care about that. They are going to take action no matter what, okay? They also are very big in gaining new knowledge and then actually using it. I know a lot of people who sign up for 30 courses and are in a part of so many networks, but they're not progressing in their life and in their business is because they're gaining the knowledge, but they're not actually executing or using that knowledge. Okay. They're not putting it to work. So you don't want to be a professional student. All right. You want to, oh, you want to learn, but you also want to implement, you want to take the action and people that don't do that typically have a victim mindset. Victors on the other hand, do take action. They learn and they take action. Now, I want to make this very clear. The one thing that you have control over in this world is your mind. That's the only thing you have control over, really. Like, you control your mind. You may have thoughts and you may feel a certain way, but you could control that and turn that, if it's a negative thought and it's making you act on or be negative, your behaviors and your actions are more of a negative action, you can control your thoughts to now turn it into a positive thing. If you don't feel like getting up in the morning to go work out, you, you can control your mind, you can control your body to get up and still go work out in spite of how you feel. It doesn't matter how you feel, okay? So the one thing that you have control over is your mind. And another thing too, because the victims, they lack self-confidence and belief. When you speak, you need to think and walk around and portray you as being the man or woman, being the man or the woman. And when you speak, you need to speak in full conviction, okay? You need to have humility, but you don't need to walk around as if you're not a great man or woman. You need to walk around as if you are powerful, okay? And when you speak to people, Look them in their eyes, okay? Have your, have your you know, chest chest out, you know, head, head held high and make sure that you can speak to people, you speak with conviction, all right? You got to feel good, feel strong and powerful. Now, this is something that is unique because a lot of people, unfortunately, have a victim mindset, okay? Now, this can be your duty to help change the world by being someone who employs the victor mindset, who has that type of mindset. Now you can influence the people around you to live a better life. Now, here's, here's the reality. By doing this, you may lose some friends in this process. You may lose some friends because they're uncomfortable. And due to your growth, you're making them uncomfortable. And again, a victim mindset is when they're uncomfortable, they, they tend to kind of walk away or shy away, right? Now, the beauty of it, though, is that you would gain people 
who are on the same path of growth as you. So you may lose old friends, but that's okay because they were, they had the victim mindset anyways. And you may still care for those people, but that doesn't mean you have to have them in your circle of people you talk to every day. But if you're on this path, you are going to, you are going to connect with people who have the same type of mindset that you do. Okay. Now, Again, it just boils down to you need to start believing in yourself, even if you haven't done nothing yet, you got to have belief, okay, because if you don't have belief, you won't achieve anything great. And you have to believe you just have to believe that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to control your mind, train to manage your internal dialogue, set a new standard in your life, okay, um, that'll help you reinforce the victim mindset and the behavior and the actions that you need to win in this life. All right. I want you to write down here, we'll do this. I want you to grab a pen and paper and I want you to write down uh, relationships, health and money, okay? Those are three key areas in anybody's life, relationships, health and money. And what I want you to do is, is I want you to be concise when doing this, but I want you to write down your new standards in those three, care, th three key areas of your life, write down your new standards in those three key areas in your life. Then, and again, keep it concise, okay? You don't need to have a paragraph. Keep it concise because I want you to review it every day. This is something that I want you to review daily and then base your internal dialogue and decisions off these new standards or principles that you set for yourself today, okay? Relationships, health, and money, three, three key areas in anybody's life concise new standards in each area keep it in front of you at, at all times whether it's on your cell phone if it's a computer screensaver if it's an um, on, in your notepad if you journal if it's next next to your if it's on your desk for you to read every day just got to keep it in front of you all right okay so i hope that was helpful again this is about not having a victim mindset, but having a victor's mindset so you can achieve in business and in, and in life. Now, and by the way, if you are in real estate as a team leader or a CEO of your real estate company, this is extremely important for you to understand and live this type of lifestyle so that you can help inspire and influence the people that are in your organization so that it, so they can live a life by design. It was extremely important for my leaders out there. Now, if you're just a, a solo agent or you have a small team where it's just you and an admin, either way, you got to understand you are leading yourself. If you have an admin, you're leading yourself in admin. Or if it's just you solo dolo, you have family and friends to lead. Okay. So take that step, set a new standard for your life. All right. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, please subscribe, like, like the video if it, if it brought some value. And I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there. I'll see you.